Hi, Dan Hopper with Remax Alliance and the Stop Foreclosure Institute of Westminster. Just want to make a brief comment about uh, our uh, blog posting today as it pertains to rental property versus your primary residence when it comes to short sales. Is there a difference? Uh, the process of itself is the same, but the consequences can be different. Uh, somebody asked if there would be a deficiency and a debt issue to deal with on a rental property. Yes, you probably will have to deal with it. Uh, the, government of, the government a few years ago had created House Bill 3648 to help protect people with this uh, tax deficiency and so forth. Uh, basically what it is when they do a mortgage debt forgiveness, let's face it, that, that deficiency amount you can be taxed on. And the mortgage debt forgiveness kind of took care of people on the primary residence and so forth. There were some other exceptions you'd have to get into it and, and discover it. But if you had purchased a property that was intended and bought as an investment property, and now you have to do a short sale on it, there's a good chance that you know, House Bill 3648 does not apply to that property. And so there could be some tax liability as well as the deficiency debt liability. So you have to understand, if the banks are a little less forgiving in that regards, they'll be more apt to come after you. So I want to make it very clear, it's not like your primary residence. So this is something that you need to talk to your tax accountant, talk to a real estate attorney. When you do have income property that you need to do a short sale and understand what those consequences can be to you. Because uh, there could be a tax liability. And the second thing, they could still take recourse to come after the debt deficiency. Anyway, just wanted to make it a real clear uh, understanding that there is a difference on the consequences. The process itself can, can be pretty much the same. Uh, sometimes they make it a little bit more difficult when it's income property versus a primary residence. But like I said, talk to your tax accountant, talk to your uh, real estate attorney, and get a full understanding when you're dealing with income property on short sales. Hope that clarified it. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you next week.